Another company just announced it's going to be funding its Bitcoin strategic reserve with $120 million. Let's take a closer look. Welcome back, everyone. That's right. More rosy news during Bitcoin's journey of price discovery. So this company, this public company, Genius Group, claims that they are going to adopt Bitcoin as their primary treasury asset. And of course, their shares spiked. Now, it's kind of peculiar because um, the, uh, the article is framing them as an AI firm. But when you do a little more digging, it turns out that uh, they are an education system business that has development tools and management consultancy services for entrepreneurs and entrepreneur resorts. The company operates through two segments, education and campus, and develops comprehensive entrepreneurial education curriculum with a full suite of tools for student learning and faculty earning. Interesting. Very interesting. So none of that is AI. Okay, none of that is AI. <laughs> so that's my first red flag, right? When an article paints a company with a completely different brush than the company itself. Okay, so that's not good. That's definitely not good. Just for the sake of it, let's take a look at the chart. And you can see here, this chart is very nasty. Okay, we are talking minus 98% in less than three years. Okay, so this thing started off at the top and is now sitting at the bottom and essentially needs a lifeline. So I don't think that this company in particular falls into the micro strategy and similar scientific uh, category of Bitcoin companies uh, or of companies that are using Bitcoin as a strategic reserve. This is more in line with the Nalam resources type of company. What? You don't remember Nalam Resources? Well, let me fill you in. Back in February, Nalam Resources announced that they were going to purchase 24,500 Bitcoin as part of their strategic reserve. And the day of the announcement, their CEO resigned. And on the day he resigned, he put out a public message saying that it was nothing but a pump and dump and that the news was simply used in order to pump the shares. And I believe that this company, right, this genius group, Limited, is exactly in the same vein as Nalam Resources. I, I think this is a giant nothing burger. I think this company just did this to pump their shares and we're most likely never gonna hear from them again. And if we take a look at the Nalam Resources chart right here, you can see back in March, they put out the news, the stock pumped, and now it's completely flat and dead. That was the that was the point of this, okay? So the reason why I'm explaining this, right, is because now that it's the Bitcoin bull market and all the rosy lenses are turned up to the max, everybody can only see the most wonderful things, it's all going to the moon, um, we need to discern between the companies that are actually building and using Bitcoin as a strategic reserve and companies that are simply using Bitcoin as a publicity stunt for a pump and dump. So for the people who watch this channel and who know me, uh, you know that I am not a micro strategy, a micro strategy fanboy. Um, and I also, when I reported back on Semler Scientific, I also gave them a bit of a hard time. But as hard of a time as I give these, th these companies, um, they are still of a higher order quality than a pump and dump scheme, penny stock, okay? And it's very important for us to know the difference. So unfortunately, Genius Group, I think that this was just a pump and dump opportunity for you guys. I think there's too many red flags. And yeah, I, uh, I think it's a giant nothing burger. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Did I get Genius Group Limited wrong? What is it that I'm missing? Anyways, let me know. I'll catch you guys next week.